hello everyone today we are going to cover the topic on status in the exam the question could be to create a file system from a status pool before we discuss the solution to subscribe to the channel if you are finding the videos useful let's first go through the theory about status in brief so that the context is clear to you status is a local storage management solution for linux it is focused on simplicity and ease of use plus it also offers some advanced features the point to remember is that the file system used is xfs only now some of the features that status use are thin provisioning file system snapshots tiering pool based management and monitoring there is no need to worry about the details of these features as they are beyond the scope of the exam so you just need to cover the basic part how to create a file system using status now to answer the question we need to understand three components of status which is the block dev which is the block device pool and file system now the block dev here refers to the block devices such as the disk partitions which we will use for storage one important point to remember about the block devices that the minimum size required will be 1 gb so whichever block device you use must have the size greater than 1 gb the pool consists of one or more block devices we combine block devices to make a pool the size of the pool is equal to the sum total of the block devices the final part is the file system which is a thin provisioned layer which does not come as a total fixed size so there is no fixed size for the file system the size of the file system grows as the data is added status automatically grows the size of the file system as data size nears the virtual size of the file system now let us see how this will be done in practical so before using status we need to install it because it will not be installed by default so use yum install status cli and status d so these are the two packages that you need to install now once the tools are installed we need to use system ctls to start the status t daemon and also enable it all right so now the setup is ready so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a pool a status pool so status pool create then you give it a name so let's suppose pool 1 and then from the device from which you want to create the pool so nvm e0n let's suppose i'm going to use nvn5 whose size was 4 gb all right so the pool is created how to check status pool list so you can see that there is one pool so you can see here size is 4 gb so you can create multiple pools from different devices in case you want to extend this particular pool so what you can do is status add data to which pool pool 1 now so since you want to extend it so i'm going to add another device nbm e 0n 4 all right once again list it so you can see that the size is increased because this my n4 is of 5 gb right so 5 plus 4 is 9 gb so this way you can go on extending the size of the pool now out of this pools you can create n number of file systems so status file system create 
from pool 1 so write pool 1 and then you give a name of the file system let us suppose fs1 all right it is created status file system fs1 so now to check how many file systems are there so you can use status file system list so we have only one file system whose size uh, that 546 MB is used okay similarly so we have only one file system created so if you want to create another one fs2 right list now fs2 remember that you need not to format these file system because they are by default formatted using xfs so what is left now since you have the file system the only thing you need to do is now mount them to a mount point permanently mount them to a mount mount point so create a mount point let's suppose fs1 and then again the procedure is same you open the etc fs tab file okay and edit it do the same entries but this time you will have to write the EUU ID, not the device name but this ID for the file system okay so you can copy it from here so rest of the steps will be same again you will write here whatever is the EUU ID I am not going to write it okay then the mount point which was FS this one I guess I created that we can check it later on format as XFS default now here you need to write something extra comma then write X hyphen system D dot requires status D dot service so this you need to right apart from the defaults then this is same 0 and 0 save it all right and then use mount minus a all right so this is all that you need to use or you need to do for stratus all right so i'm not going to uh, execute this command because I have not made the entry in the fs tab file. I have not written the UID. So you just press enter here and everything will be done as normal. I hope that the concept of status is clear. In next video, we are going to cover virtual data optimizer.